Okay. Yeah. We're yeah. on. I guess the can young we at least is, get a candle? The young beef is tough. <laughs> Well, see, now you can't see your phone, so you got to talk. I can't see my phone. See, that's the problem. Candlelight uh, podcast. I'm just going to be sitting in the dark. You got the Maxwell. We don't need nothing else. Oh, my God. That's all we need. I'm on a date with... uh, Mr. Vibe. This ain't your first time being with two men. Mm. Stop it. You forgot what you admitted that on the drunk podcast that day. On our full drink champs. We still don't know what episode this is, huh? Man, fuck episodes. I said we done with episodes, bro. Can't be done with episodes. I'm done with episodes. Thing. Nah, man. You gotta have episodes. We just talking, bro. You gotta come up with your dope little picture. The pictures be dope, though. Yeah. If you're, you should get with a good podcast. Like, good everybody time, appreciates it. Yeah. <laughs> like, so somebody, work for one. So hyper fans. I feel like your time is a waste of bro. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but no, I feel you though when I want that young beef though, cause like this guy's out here getting killed though. Ooh, it's like way you're professional, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's weird. I mean, cause but it's like it's like they got. I don't know, man. Cause like I know music has moved away from to where like all the gangsters was like creating these labels and all the drug money was. Oh, yeah. Finance and rap, Jake Prince it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, Cass is getting no doubt though. That's it's kind of wild. And me do tell them, social media is the new snitching, bro. I keep telling people. Oh, people telling them themselves. Yeah. Hey man, you got the bag right there. I kind of like. Oh yeah, that the way he did that. When that yeah. played out, so we yeah. talked about that last yeah. week. The X X X Tense Tacey on. Mm-hmm. I got this bag. Can you say his name? I don't even know how to put nothing. That's a test. That's a litmus test. It is, for real. <laughs> no, I'm not even going to lie. Are you a real rap fan? <laughs> yeah, you no, I don't listen to Keith. You falling off, dude. You still ain't even listen to the Carters, did you? I haven't. How dare you? Who? How dare you? I'll listen to Don't let Loretta find out that you haven't listened to I don't care. I'm going to listen to it. Now you don't care. All right, well, Loretta snatching your I'm wig. I'm going to tell you why I didn't listen to it. Loretta snatching your wig. We'll see. Why wouldn't you listen to that? I just haven't. I mean, the only thing is, I don't... You gotta make an effort not to listen to it. Yeah. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, like, I listen to... You about to go ape shit, though. I don't... That might be the song, the one with they look like casino, like, uh, Jay-Z has on, like, the turquoise suit. What, what video is that? Now you don't know. I don't. <laughs> now you don't know. At the... At the you know those songs I'm talking about. No. This is... <laughs> at the live. Oh, jeez. Yes. We not <laughs> talking about music anymore. <laughs> We talk, no, we talk about <laughs> how you lost your credit as a music. What do you mean? I just haven't head. listened to it. You can't, as a music head, you can't say that. I listen to Tiana Taylor because I'm dedicated. I don't understand how she go from some gospel sounding song to... Never would have made it. Yeah, never would have made it to... Love the pussy or something like that. I heard it was some nasty shit on that. I didn't listen to it because I'm not but a, uh, a support. I'm not. I mean, but this is the thing. Well, that's why. Okay, so that's initially why I haven't listened to Jay Z and. Well, it's on yeah. Apple Music now, but when it originally dropped, it was not. But I did listen to whatever sure song that they had the video for, and I just don't like the Beyonce rapping ish. I kind of, you know what? Honestly, I kind of like it. That's the best Beyonce has been, but you know. I I, mean, I don't want to do this again because we talked about this last week. Ah, right, well, go right ahead. But uh, I'm just saying, so. Know, we didn't have a but critic. But I'm going to listen to it, though. Yeah, yeah. we did. I could have a, a Beyonce critic. No, I'm, it's not even a critic. <laughs> I'm just being real about how I feel about artists. Nas, anybody else that I adore, but I'm going to be honest that, with it all. I mean, but, you know. Nobody likes Nas. I, I, I can appreciate keeping it real. Yeah, but. you know where you keep it real? At <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> What up, what up, what up? Oh, it's me, God. Justin with an E. We in the building with the beautiful. Oh. I'm, gonna go, no, I'm not even going to the intro no more. Cause cause we we, we beefing right now. When are until, we not until beefing? you until you listen to the car you just no intro. It's just that girl, Alba. We can go with that girl. The queen of Country Club here. I'm in because I go straight to friends. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> I go straight to friends myself. That's something I appreciate, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, Quap is definitely a fan of the Friends song and the Boss song. I like the back half of it because it's more Jay-Z. The last, like, three or four songs. I'm not in for the Jay-Z. Jay-Z. Huh? I'm not in for the Jay-Z. Really? Come out of Big yeah. Beyonce. We did this. Anyway. Um, Kids killing South. Better so that. No. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it either. 
Did y'all watch that video? Actually, not even on the music side. Start off the music because we definitely gonna end up popping up the music. Yeah, because um, y'all watch that video? I haven't watched it. What video? Uh, the little Bronx. boy getting yeah. with the machine. I saw about a mistake. Well, I haven't even heard about this. What is this? Dude got stabbed like at, in the Bronx. Was in the Bronx? Yes. With the machete, like they stabbed him. He was they. De- I mean, pulled him out of. Can you stab somebody with a machete? Man. Oh, you mean like chop? I thought you like chopped somebody with the machete. Well, I mean, they gutted You might need to watch the video because you're right about that. How do you stab? Well, yeah, they, they gutted him. Don't, they gutted him? Yeah. It was. That's why I don't want to that's why I'm not really on this. I understand because killing is killing, sense is killing, and all that. But stuff. nobody did anything. Like, it was two, it was people walking on the street, the, um, the store, like, the employees, like, no one did anything. Wait, so this was in the store? He was, like, they dragged him out of, it looked like he was, like, kind of in the. Like, oh, that means anything. Oh, that, okay, that, 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 okay, now that makes sense. <laughs> I'm sorry. I felt like you did that. Yeah, thank you. I mean, okay. <laughs> Proceed. It was a gang. Identity. Bronx. Oh, that game they're talking about. They, I and heard they about that. Apologize. I didn't know that. Right. They killed the wrong person. I wonder, like, so did they, like, send a letter on the gang letterhead? Like, You're stupid. <laughs> I'm just saying, how, how do you apologize? Do you, like, Why are we talking about this? This is what's going on. Actually, I asked somebody, what should we talk about? What do you like? What do you want to talk about, Ty? <laughs> That's, like, I don't like talking about but it's actually like the topic of the, it's the, it's the, it's the black topic right now. It's tough, like, uh, It's tough, especially when you got a teen, well, I almost don't have a teenager, but I, you that's know. That's grown, man. But still, it's like, he out in these streets, and, you know, that's stuff. He out in these streets. But it's like, and I'm, when I say I watched it by accident, I didn't know, like, it was on somebody's timeline. But, you know, I, I heard, like, I was looking on, I forget, it was CNN or Time or something, and they were saying that, like, the safest kids statistically are the ones that play saxophone. So <laughs> <laughs> you shut you shut me up. What about the ones that got scholarships to go to college? Yeah. 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 That's what's up though, man. <laughs> Tell them that I'm proud of him. Where, but, where did you choose my wife? I mean, don't get choose my, my baby got scholarships too. Don't, I know she does. She's a smart girl. But I'm just saying, you're trying to play him because he played a sax. My, my baby gonna go to high school. <laughs> hey. 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 She's singing all the moms. Hey. Hey. <laughs> um, but when I watch stuff like that, like it sticks with me. It's hard for me to erase it from my memory. You know, and then it's like everybody been talking about it, and what it just I don't know. When stuff yeah, like y'all that, y'all gonna watch like, the videos of the of the day that pop up? I didn't the watch what? the last guy, that, like the, the last... videos that pop up. Be like, oh my god, watch this video, it's so crazy. I, I don't. I Where would that come don't. from? Like just off when, when, when you decide when you go to your time. Oh, right? you know, the video that you see the same shit being posted over and over. It depends, man. Like a lot of those. Some that energy, I don't even want to bring into my Like because the last kid that got killed by the cop that like started working that day. Mm, like, I ain't I read into that either. The one that got shot today, I don't watch none of the videos. Cause like I didn't want to watch the video of the little boy getting stabbed, a little chopped up or whatever either, because I just don't want that in my psyche. I mean, I mean, tell I, me what happened. I guess I'm old enough for the news of the news of our yeah, like, news. I don't got you telling me what happened. I but you still need the to news. see. It. I was thinking about this. Like I wonder if like we we're gonna get numb to seeing all of these. I, I don't. Because somebody filmed it, they were numb. They well, that's the truth, and they, they didn't do it. They I'm chose like, it's just like, because they, 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 they didn't. Mean, do, that's like, part of the part too that you might be missing that they didn't do anything. Nobody. Yeah, that's what. Well, that's what I was going to. went back in, and nobody would help them. People with some nurses apparently. Right. Scrubs, well, we don't by. know. They had on scrubs. They didn't. They CNAs, weren't there. Right. Walk by. <laughs> hey, yeah, he has an agenda. I already so know. I'm not I'm not going there with you, bro. I heard that part. I'm like, yeah, see, see. <laughs> fucking LP. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Not everybody gonna see what I've been seeing all these years. But yeah, so it was people you walking that, by. Sure. No one did anything. Yeah, so that part. Of so, it. Actually, it wasn't hey, filmed. It was on the. Uh, it's better when you sip it. Though. Oh. It was. It was the uh, security, yeah. like subvert, sub, uh, surveillance. It wasn't. No one filmed it. Okay, that was surveillance. Yeah, that wasn't, okay. yeah, it wasn't like, yeah. yeah. But I mean, the, the you know, XX dude, they, they, right. since he got shot, they just ran up. And what, yeah. what's the one dude? Actually, I know somebody whose family this is. The little boy who, um, he got shot, and they put the t- uh, 
a sheet over Oh, him. yeah, he, he wasn't even dead? Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. That is know, crazy. I don't know about that one. Yeah. Well, no, apparently, he, uh, like, he got shot, and then, like, so he got shot. And so the paramedics came, and uh, the that paramedics came, put the sheet over him. Right, and he was still breathing. And they was like, hey, he's still breathing. Like, you can see him still breathing. They, had, they said that she was on it for like five minutes or something like that. But they just, okay. Now, I don't, did that yeah. happen here? That was here, right? Yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure that was here. Well, it has to because I, this dude I grew up with, that's his nephew. Where? That's, oh, that's Chicago or somewhere else? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Where I think it was here. I'm, I don't know, but. Yeah. They watch some people. They be claiming uh, the sure. they, they like to adopt somebody. They got the same last name and everything. I need to mourn with my cousin, no, my nephew. I got, I got a nephew, nigga. Wow, no. but it's it's sad. Yeah. But, but that's the it just it sticks with me, and probably because I have a boy, I mean, teenager. Yeah, that's 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 why it's hard for me. How is that? I, I listen to. It's hard. I don't like. Man, I don't know if I underestimate. It, because I have a girl. You probably do. Because but, it's like every time my son goes outside, yeah. I don't want to say I worry, but I, I'm not. I don't mind. sleep. You know, I, I don't want to say I don't sleep. I don't sleep peacefully until I know he's back in the crib. Huh. And so right now we're beefing because I have like he doesn't have a curfew, but I'm like, dude, at least let me know mm-hmm. what you're doing. Mm-hmm. If you were gonna do X, Y, and Z and plans change, just let me know because I was like, if anything ever happens to you. At least I could be like, well, they did, blah, 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 blah. Hampton, in Virginia. Virginia. I'm not, I don't know if I'm ever not having a curfew. Well, this is the thing. He wants to go away to college. So what I'm just like... And that's the thing. But, I, but my dog got a lot. I, I can't... No, but this is the thing. I got to know. Or else I can't sleep. I'm never going to sleep. Well, when I say not having... A, but it's like, I don't expect you to be out all night either. So this yeah, is where we're beefing because it's like... <laughs> So last night I fell asleep on the couch the night before I fell asleep on the couch. Oh, you that So, yeah. but I was I literally fell asleep. But I heard again because I got a kid, so I hear the door unlocked. And I'm looking at the clock, it's like three something. But he's trying to sneak in. So I ain't say nothing. I ain't say nothing for like two days. And then I was just like, dude, we not gonna do this every night. You know what I mean? Like I don't give you a, a curfew. But I expect for you to not take advantage of you not having a curfew. You know what I mean? So well, he doesn't. Um, yeah, yeah, he don't really some, taking the bull. Hey, that is some women ass what? logic. Yeah. What do you mean? So he don't have a curfew. But you can't afford the fact that you don't have a curfew. I'm 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 treating you like the person you want me to treat you so as an a adult, a young adult. So he has a not, curfew, but you just won't state what it is. I'm not saying he has a curfew, but what what do we need to be out to three thirty in the morning for every night? And y'all just sitting in the parking well, like that. Like well, well, this is what I'm saying. Y'all sit. Well, this is the thing, yo. Go over that parking lot. No, but they sit in Walmart parking lot, and then somebody got shot at Walmart gas station two days ago. It was it was only two people. I mean, but my whole point is, y'all just around, and when it's like, unfortunately, when we were that age, we were able to do X, Y, and Z, and just. Pop up and sit wherever we wanted to and blah 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 to the wee hours. It's, it's different with us, but girls. it's a different. It's a different element. It's different with us girls too. It is. Like I listen, I was talking to a friend the day. I heard the son spent the night at somebody's house. It was supposed to come home in the morning, and it was like three o'clock, and he still wasn't. Three p.m. Yeah, the next day, and she still couldn't get in contact. See, and that's another and she's thing. She's still talking. And I know, I know of some houses that he might be. At, I'm not sure how. You ain't knocked on them other doors yet. Mm-mm. Now that was a girl. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, we try to give boys a little bit. I don't know. I mean, when I was, and that was another thing. I when I was a boy on the way to school, I can't even remember if I had a curfew or not. I never had a curfew. Like I know I had one when I was in high school, but then it was like the summer before I was going away, and then like after I came home, I don't really call me having a curfew. But I mean, I think it's that's because of who he is, right? Because he's not. I mean, I'm not tripping. All my thing is just let me know where you at. He nah, he, he ain't been getting in trouble for the right. nonsense. He ain't exactly. Been, he's, not so, coming, he's not coming there uh, stumbling, right? No, nah, not that I know of. He's like, you act like I'm out here slipping coat. I said, well, actually, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> he tried to overshoot. Hold on. Hey, he he, 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 he <laughs> tried to go to the over here. Hey, he's smart. Right? I'm not going to tell him myself. I'm like, because if he said I'm out here drinking or something, are you drinking? Like, look. He was like, yeah, I'm hey, like, look, I this said this. The other day, we went to Bonefish Grill. We were sitting outside. I had like a watermelon martini. I was like, I can't taste it. He was like, 
Nah. Ain't nobody that dumb. <laughs> Come on, man. I was like, he didn't taste it. It's good. It don't taste like it's a lot of alcohol in there. But I mean, he can't, but I mean, he's not interested in those type of things. Would, right you, now. would you drink with your son? Because you know he's going to college. You don't want to. Because I'm going to sit down and drink with my daughter. So that she if knows. that's what he was into. You are? Yeah. I mean, I what feel like this. At? No, I mean. No, but I understand. I understand both sides of the argument. You know what I mean? Because I do know some people who have and older parents who have drank with their kids. So it's like, this is what you do, blah, blah, blah. Like preparing them yeah, for so what you know, you know like, is going to happen. But, um. I don't want your first time to drink and be in a frat house or to be a but, Yeah, yeah. You know, you're the girls. Run, the knock girls. Down the floor. Exactly. I don't want, and plus my daughter real small, nigga. Like, she do a shot and she. She out of there. Bruh. She's she about to go. You ain't That's okay. Look, that's okay. She doesn't know. You yeah, she's had before. She gonna build up her um her tolerance level. Don't worry. I don't know, but I'm gonna help her out with that child. Just, I'm gonna let her, I'm gonna get her to understand like what you mean? You might turn out out. No, what I'm saying is I'm gonna like bro. This this how you feel. How I feel when you drink. That like make sure you hydrate you when you get to this point. Yeah, make when you get to this really point. Just, just, point. You know what have, just give her pointers. No, nah, we gonna sit down and have a drink together. What y'all gonna drink? What has she drank before? Like wine Probably. or. Like vodka mixed with something else. I feel like I'm probably okay with it, like at like this juncture, they're about to go away to school, but not like in high school, just like. No, nothing like that, no. Nah. Yeah. But I don't know, my kids. They're not fair to your kids, though. My friends' kids are smoking weed and shit. And like, you know what I'm saying, doing all the other stuff, so you can't really play these games. Yeah. I don't think y'all kids are necessarily. Young. No, well, my clear claim is he has no. Like, Ian Hall had fell down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had died. Did I ever show y'all? Did you want to go to that concert? <laughs> I did, yeah. The 90s? I don't know. I'm talking about guys. Uh, That's what I'm talking about. Guy phase. That's what I'm saying. Guy has got to be at more than one concert. That's what I'm saying. Well, I, apparently I'm talking about the last concert. And that's what I said. No. Why are we still talking about this? We're not talking about music. So. It would take my soul. Sometimes you got to talk about music. Music is life. That's why I asked you last time. Music seems to encompass the black. That's because y'all need girls to work for it. Experience? Experience. You know, well, you're black, dude. You're African, man. Stop <laughs> trying to go out. Only around black people. Go back to Wakanda, <laughs> man. I'm sick of this. You ain't from Wakanda. You're from definitely uh, black around uh, Africans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's interesting. So it's like, are you like, you don't fit in anywhere? Are you one of the. I'm black as hell. They got even bother with me. <laughs> So would you like, were you going for the, uh, one of the, were you watching the World Cup? Nah, uh, I wasn't raised in that way. Uh, I, you know, uh, culturally my father didn't necessarily put the African thing mm-hmm. on to me. I, I, I think he thought that would be a good thing to do, not to have um, those African sensibilities in that. Yeah, yeah in America. I think that was his thing. So I think he made it be, uh, the, uh, be black instead of, uh, and deal with that instead of being African, which probably was a mistake. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a part. Yeah, well, you know, they do what they can. Yeah. And I was the oldest, they was working. This part of the thing, which I was talking about with kids, like, you know, when you got your first kid, you kind of doing your thing still, you figuring it out. Yeah, then the other kids get the better part. That's what I told my mom. I was like, yeah, so y'all experimented with me. Like, no. I'm like, yeah, whatever. You know what? I was definitely. I kind of feel kind of, but not for real. I just feel like my mother, I feel like they were more strict with me. And my sister. No. It's just the younger, right? Yeah, but like my sister, like I feel like they gave her everything. But she was the first girl, so it's like we can't be one. We gotta make sure, you know what I'm saying? We get, and I think once you kind of get, it's it, it's it is it, having a second kid is easy. You only got one, right? Mm-hmm. A second kid is kind of it's it's easy. Well, yeah, you kind of you really have a hang of it. It's kind of weird for me and my wife because it's my second and her first. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? She goes super spoiled and do all that. I'm like, hey, she good. Leave her alone. Like, yeah. It's funny because like, everything my daughter learned, I teach her. Yeah. Because glasses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, she, oh, she got to have her glasses. I'm like, dude, she just started wearing, like, she barely needed them. They read, they read glasses. But How my, old is she? Seven. That, that was her just texting me telling her they went and got them. <laughs> bruh. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, huh? bruh. But yeah, I mean, cause like, like for example, like my, I taught her how to take, cause she's taking showers, so I taught her how to take a shower. I'm like, I'm not about how to be. How did you end up t- teaching her how to? Because take a my wife would run the back, run it for her, and do all that. Wow. Okay, it's warm enough. I'm like, dude, you know what hot is, right? 
Ooh. Turn the little knob until you, your skin ain't burning and get in the damn water. Then rest and sleep the tender. Yeah, because I. And so you're saying you never take a shower with your daughter? No, that's weird. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, that's weird for me. You do your thing. <laughs> At seven? At <laughs> seven, definitely out of order. Yeah, for real. <laughs> no, I don't think I did. Uh, it was a. Uh, it's a one year old shower. Oh, when it's like a baby or something, you in the shower. You, oh, yeah, that's different. Yeah. Got to catch up again. Cause lies, exactly. There's <laughs> lies going on out here. Michelle ain't no more lies. Yes, yeah, my music I need to find. I would definitely not be pulled up in Michelle. No, 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 no. <laughs> so we can remind me tomorrow about like, listening to Michelle. So what's up with uh? What's up with uh? Cats out here getting slapped over parking and all this. Parking? Yeah. I must say I'm inspired. <laughs> I like, I, I, remember, I, like, I wish, like, I want to just slap somebody, like, just Wait, off top, on just no hesitation. You ain't seen Nipsey Hussle mm. slap something? Oh, I didn't know it was over parking. I mean, it don't matter what it was over. Oh, yeah, I know you're talking about. Man, you slap somebody in flip flops. You're like, bro. I mean, but that's confident. <laughs> but, and, and that's the thing, because that's the thing. With no like, shirt and chains. Because the slap is such a boss move. The slap is, like, you ain't going to do, I like, know you ain't going to do this shit. Like, the, the slap, like, my thing is, like, you got to think about it. It's like, when you spit on somebody, you put your hand, you step back, put your hands up, like, let's box. Can you do that? He slapped and dropped hands. You know what I'm saying? Like, I dare you. Off no. instinct, like, <laughs> that's what he said. It was definitely like, psh, psh, Yeah, he's like, 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 for that. Yeah, like, that, that was, <laughs> that's your toe. You get, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then when I saw Dane Dash today. Oh my God, that, that is the best. Thing, right? <laughs> that the I said, best. Oh, I, know, I got this, I got the check and nigga. Yeah, for real, like, I'm like, that's how I'm not taking no more shit. Bro, niggas, <laughs> it's real. But then again, but then again, it's two million dollars. Like, and it's been a while though. You've been saying this for a long time. That's what I'm saying, it's been a while. came out 10 years ago. I moved, I'm sorry, but, that movie came out in 09. But, but I feel like it was and even so before Precious, imagine, though. You gotta imagine, you didn't take a year to make a movie. But I feel so like he, it wasn't even really Precious, though. I feel like it was before that how he said it. And he was like, and then you came out with Precious and you didn't even put me on? No, I think he was saying, like, you uh, did the Precious premiere and didn't even invite me. Is what uh, he was saying. Okay. But it took at least a year to make a movie. So we talking about 10 years he's been waiting on. And he been talking like he been talking. He, he talk about it all the time. I'm, I'm actually, it's yeah. funny as hell. I really, I mean, I really, like I really, I really want attention. Yeah, to Nipsey Hussle and Dame Dash. Like I really like. Dame did move up my estimation. Like I listen to all the interviews and shit. Wow. So Dame um, did move up my estimation. That was. He been, but I feel like hey. he probably the way Lee Daniels responded or reacted, it was just like they happened to be at the same event. Like he had oh. no he idea. He been ducking the smoke oh. all the time. I know. What do you mean? And it was just one of them days. Lee like, lucky that they was at church or wherever they was. Yeah, they that's what I'm trying to figure out. Reach out and touch. Like, they see yeah. Diana Ross in the background. What's that say? What you said? Somebody said that was he called him before he got baptized. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That was hilarious. Like, I mean, I don't know Dan Dad, that Dan Dash, that dude, you really want to But let me tell you what I even honor, I mean, like, about the whole situation is the fact that he still was just kind of calm with it. Like he was in his face though. Like he didn't put his hands on him or. That's yeah, smart though. He, no, mean, he is. But I'm just saying for him to control himself, yeah. like two million dollars. He's like, man, dude, that's capital. But right. you know what I mean? Like that's, like, that's, 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 some, that's real money though. Yeah. That's not like yeah. that's some real money. Yeah, if you follow his line of reasoning as he talks about what he does, he spends all his money to make more money. Right. So that was like his. When yeah, saying he broke. That's he's too. spending his money. He got money, right. but he spends it when he gets it in order to invest in certain things. So, yeah, you know, I got other things to do with that money. You know what I'm saying? He's like holding on to my money. Yeah, because like, what? I mean, how? What, in ten years, what can you turn that two into? Not even that though. How you for all this man two mil for ten years and, and that's how he even never gonna, like he's steady. Like it's just gonna go away. Just been ducking up. Yeah, like what type of man are you? Well, well, that's, well yeah. wow, wow. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Two million. Wow. But that's what I'm saying. Wow. Two million. Wow. Like that's that's I mean, so so I so I guess the real question is, was Monique right? Well, I think my issue I heard a lot of that in the streets. Like, yeah, see, Monique told y'all. Right, this she, and that. But see, I think the difference I, I, had to bring back Monique, I, I don't remember what she said about Lee Daniels, but I what I remember was what she was saying about uh canceled Monique. 
What's our boy name? Uh, <laughs> Will Packer. Will Packer, yeah. That's where the bulk of. Uh, well, so I don't really she, call what she was saying. She was saying Will Packer would have smoke. She was saying Tyler Perry and Oprah had smoke. She was saying Lee Daniels had smoke. I mean, she said she was just yeah. talking about all the people that kind of was saying I mean, that well, she was difficult and was quote unquote destroying her name. I mean, I mean, I think because a lot of people were saying, well, yeah, Monique was right, this and that. And I was like, but I think, I mean, okay, if she's right and that. Lee right Daniels is a grind dude. Well, because I don't recall because what she, she was kind of. I mean, pretty much. The, I guess the grand total of what she's saying was that Lee Daniels was a snake and that he tried to fuck over on her money for precious and try to get her to pay for her own flight to the award shows and this and that. It wasn't her. It was precious. It was the the, the precious girl's flight. Gabby uh, Cinema? Yeah, Cinema, yeah. No, I thought they paid for hers. I thought they would pay for Monique's. No, they paid for I Monique's, knew it was something about hers. her. No. And she was trying to fight for her. Oh, I Gabby. thought it was, they would, you talking about when they were promoting it? Yeah. Like, some cans. Well, this is a, no, I'm thinking about the, the other movie, the Christmas movie, where... Oh, she claimed that we the reason, she the reason why we watched the movie? No, 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 no. <laughs> where she was saying that... They wanted her to promote the movie, and she was like, basically, oh, they yeah, didn't negotiate yeah, yeah, that in her contract oh. and all of that type of stuff. Like, it wasn't a condition. Yeah, I don't think this guy didn't do with that. I, don't, I, I don't feel like one doesn't have anything to do with yeah, the other. I mean, one is business decisions, your manager, and how they negotiate. I mean, yeah, I mean, realistically, realistically speaking, I was kind of being facetious, because I, I think it's, it's apples and oranges. Like, yeah, like, the main point of that whole thing that people were saying is, like, you're not about your business. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, like, okay, Lee Daniels might be, like, these other people might be grimy. But the fact of the matter is you got this many people saying this about you is mm-hmm. a problem because you got these heavy hitters. You can try to play it off like, it's, I mean, whatever they're doing, everybody it's else is not doing it. Though. It's, it's talent that's questioned talent at this point, but talent saying that you're not giving me what I want. Mm-hmm. Then you have a business person, capital, who's providing capital saying that you're not paying what's old. Oh, right. yeah, it's, so it's kind of like that's what I said, right. Yeah, that's, there's just levels to it. I mean, because yeah. honestly, my thing is like, as, as talent, if you're saying you're not giving me what I want, you can go out there and hustle up, man. Because mm-hmm. again, to me, the biggest shame is that it's been four or five months and Monique still hasn't come out with any content. And, and the thing is, right? Like, she didn't even capitalize on her moment. Yeah, and that's what I was saying. Is like, give me a five minutes on on. Just go to a show, record on some shit on 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 the iPhone. Record five minutes and well, you talk, you joking about this whole set. We'll take that back though, because she has she was touring in the midst of a tour. But did we see any of this though? I like. If you I mean, no, you, I mean, my thing. If you I, go on YouTube, I halfway would have went just to. I wasn't checking for her anyways. But my thing is, like, I guess my thing is this, though, is, like, if you're a comedian, if you feel like the money that Netflix gave you isn't enough, if I work at, and again, because, like, with Wanda Sykes, she was, like, cool. She went somewhere else and got right. whatever she got. We don't Roseanne. know what, but she got whatever she wants. Now she did the whole Roseanne thing before that fell through. But, but it's with, coming with, back. With it Monique, the, the thing with Monique is that mm-hmm. if, I'm a, if I'm a talent scout, I'm like, okay, cool, Monique got screwed over. Where can I go to find Monique material? If right. I go to YouTube, all I see is Monique angry. Because, again, my thing is, like, even in all these interviews, you feel screwed over, you got to throw some laughs in there, too, because that's what you're selling. You got to keep selling your product, wherever you're at. And you got opportunities you're never going right, to get. The Breakfast Club, Sway in the Morning, all these places that you were not going to get for last Christmas. Because um, of this controversy, but... It depends. I mean, like, I don't know. It just seems like, a, all in all, and I think that's what I'm like, for some reason... I just felt overwhelmed lately. Like I feel like I feel like in, in my personal world, and uh, when I see on TV, then when I look at politics, I just see bullshit everywhere. It is. That's why it sometimes is. you it have is. to remove yourself yeah. from all of that. But that's I, why I've been I don't know if it's removal because it's like now that I'm now that I'm able to watch it on TV and watch it on the internet, and however I look at life, how, why I analyze things right or wrong. Now I'm I reflect back to my people I'm around, and I see a lot of bullshit too. Like it's the same tactic. Like I see Trump behavior in people. I see the but, same thing. You know what it is? I, they said that because when Trump got elected, one of the things I, I forgot where I saw the CNN in the summer, they were saying that like the population takes on traits of their leader, where they're willing. You know what I'm saying? It's just. It's just but you don't think it has to already be in you or no? I mean, I think the people that it's in are more comfortable displaying it. So well, now yeah. you got cats in the alt-right coming out and these motherfuckers ain't even putting on hoods 
they just have rallies with their face. I'm not out. talking about the racism. Then, but also, right. I mean, but even even to a lesser extent, the I'm fact the that act, the 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 just the, the, of the entitlement, the entitlement, the, the entitlement, fact that like getting, how, how people get words with, everybody wants what they want. Yeah, the way that people get with the way Trump goes about getting not cast as a dollar. People are not. I see people live like that. Now that I'm watching, able to watch him as a well, case what study. What do you mean though? Because what's do you mean compromising your morals or something to get what you want? I mean, I think I'm lying mean, about your morals. Have yeah. saying that my morals are this, but then, but then actually you're doing this around this. Oh. But that's kind of I was saying this last week. Like, dude, words don't mean anything anymore. Well, yeah, and, and it's just and work like. It's, it's but thick. you know why though? Because people don't hold them to a standard. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But it seems to be successful though because. Bullshit seems to be yeah. successful well, now. Yeah, I depend, but for for that moment, at some point, it's gonna catch up. We hope. I don't know, man. Like it it, we, we say, it, it, but yeah, they call it, it like, like Trump to the president. But what do we think? But I feel like that's two different things, though. What you're saying? Not just people on TV. Like, but what I'm saying is, Fifty, he's entertainment. Trump is. A president, and it almost is it that all everybody wants to be entertained at this point. But my whole point is though, no. But we sh- there's a uh, there should be a separate um, what word am I trying to use? There should be a separate. Um, I know what you're saying. You talking about like a uh, standard? <laughs> yeah, that ain't the word I was looking for. But there should be a separate standard from an entertainer versus a president. This category. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's no. because, but because but that's what he turned it into. That's like, but what I'm saying is, Fifty Cent is he has things that he's trying to sell. He wants people to watch his shows, his movies, or whatever. Trump, what is he trying to sell so. outside of the business aspect of it? Selling himself. I think he's, I think Fifty Cent, Trump, people of this nature, and other people are want to be kept alive in your mind. And I'm gonna sell you whatever the fuck I can. Yeah. So that's the narcissist. They, they just want to own the moment, yeah. and then whatever they have to be separate. But I feel like time. those are narcissistic people. Period. Like, do we believe that? Like, do people? Like, people, I feel like people believe Fifty Cent rights power, and they, like he really has. Nobody people. believes that because nobody people believe that's his show in a no. creative way. No, they don't. I don't. If they believe that, they're dumb because people he's, are dumb. I don't believe, believe that. that in a creative way. They, they be like he's creative no in that show. Not Who just, believes that? I never really gave it any thought, but if you ask me, like, do you think 50 Cent right? That I'd be like, no. Nah, it's like who, people thought, I think who, Young who, get, hey, wait, hold on. Young Money Records for real. Yeah. No, but who? <laughs> people, and then they, then they say, so people will tell you. When we're saying people, who are you saying? People that you, like, you're just saying, like. People who surface level look at things. Mm-hmm. Don't care to look at it any further. People that believe everything they read. So that person that. that that person that you talk to, and they'll tell you. I'm gonna use him for some reason. I gotta be fixing this. Uh, 50 Cent is a great businessman. And we all say, okay, he's successful in life, so obviously he's successful. But what really makes him a great businessman? You've had this conversation about him and you were low key hating on him. Yeah, I don't know. That's my thing. Yeah, you were hating on him. You do kind of. Re- re- we're trying to sneak your hate back in. Yeah, yeah. that's hate. Yeah. Yeah. You're hate. I, 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 I got my own points. Got my own we're, own we're, 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 let's stick to what we're saying here. But um, I don't know. I guess if it benefits people, they do it. But I feel like that speaks a lot about your character. And I feel like like people like Dane Dash or whatever. I feel like Dane is a stand-up dude. And I feel like he's he wouldn't do... A lot of things like that Trump is doing, mm-hmm. or what you say Fifty Cent is doing, I just feel like certain people, because of the, the character, they will not go those routes. Yeah, not that I don't and that's like, a character in business. It is. Maybe this is what. Maybe not because that's what would probably yeah, going on for today, and going forward. But I'm going to have this feeling. I know my next feeling is. But I feel like why are y'all like Dame Dash now? And he's been this way all this time. I've always liked Dang Dash. No, 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 but what I'm saying is, but I feel like that probably they saw him in a different. Because you know, like when That's you. the same way he snapped on him when he walked into Jay Z. But what I'm. That uh, everybody don't know that. But like, I what they really. The, the Probably the mass population or people that may not even be familiar with Dame is like what they saw him on The Breakfast Club. Like acting like an asshole, arrogant. You know what I mean? And even though he had good... The things that he was saying were good and, you know, they were good points. It was just how they were delivered. So, I feel like that's their image. Never have a loss. A dang. <laughs> Never lost. <laughs> right. <laughs> 
But you know what? I think, he was tripping there. I think that it was just how he delivered the message. But I think that, that what it comes down to is people really first introduction to Dane was when they were just positioning him against Jay Z, a known entity, right. versus the the record label head, which has kind of always been the grimy, shicey dude that steals the label, the record, put the, the, right, the, the artist money. Right, because the money kind of negative. Yeah, and negative. so I think that, and it, it, I think it's just like Dame has never done anything to kind of make people think that that wasn't true. But I, and that again goes back to his character. Yeah. I mean, I think they got to go look for him. Dang. You got to go on to his website. Yeah, yeah. That does popping thing. Well, yeah, he is talking every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you you got to run up this hop. Yeah. I watch it. Yeah, you got to you got to go dig in and really listen to him. Not. And he'll have some stupid sitting in a barbershop conversations and shit like that. And you have to really to get to know him. But in a way, Jay Z falls under that same thing, where it's like um, he's he's cutthroat. He is. He he and, he, he and the thing rolls is, with you. I think people start with you and moves on. I think don't, people are starting to see that now. Now that he's turning more into businessman. Well, that's what I was about to say. Whereas yeah. Dame has always been like that. Yeah, Dame has always been businessman. Jay Jay Z played the politics. Dame never really played the politics. And he also played. It seemed like he played this keep it real with my people. Who Dame? Yeah. 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 I, but again, people. to me, that goes back with his character. Goes with character. I mean, because I think if you look at Dame and then you look at Puff, like they're the same guy, but Puff goes out of his way to Puff maintain is, his public persona. But Cu- to, Puff to maintain is, that, you know, to to, to keep, you know, what I'm saying? To, but Dame doesn't really do the move. PR work that a guy like Puff does. But if you Puff, really look at their moves, they move exactly the they same. They move the same, but Puff is more personable. He's like he's more. Uh, I mean, Puff is an arrogant asshole too. But, but, he, ha- but he has the Puff is aware of. I think Puff is aware of making sure. I, honestly, like I think Dame might have more charisma than Puff. I, think, I don't think so. I, don't, I think Puff. I mean, I think Puff is a well manicured product. I think Dame is Dame. But Dame is Dame. But Puff is more of a people's person. You know what I mean? It's like he loves that. He loves the line. Yeah, like yeah. Dame, just like man, fuck this. It's probably, it's probably been an evolution. I've been evolving in different of ways. Course. Yeah. Dame Dash is the same thing. Dame, Dame Dash. Right. That wasn't but even, but even still, though. Like you know what I'm saying? But I feel like, did y'all ever watch like the Bad Boy movie thing, the 25th anniversary that was on? Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, y'all wouldn't get on me for not listening to an hour, but y'all ain't seen that. Yes. But even then. <laughs> <laughs> I was really trying to. No, no, but yeah, I'm not. I'm Let's talk about doing the yeah, photo culture. I love the moment. Exactly. <laughs> whatever. It was. 25th anniversary of Bad Boy. That was last year. But whatever. But even going back to his earlier years, I feel like he was always that people's person. Like, they have the same drive and ambition. I, yeah. But I just feel like Puffy is just, like I said, I just feel like he just has more charisma. And I feel like he goes days back to the 90s when he was working with, you know, uh, Andre Harrell and all of them. I think Puff has been manicuring his 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 his, his personal for a long time. I was just saying because it can be think, a part of just evolving. I think I don't think Dane ever wanted to be I think Dane was okay being the businessman that wasn't out there. I think if nobody knew who Dane was, Dane would be okay with that. Mm-hmm. Dane would be okay being Jay Prince. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Puff was okay with that. I think eventually Puff I'm but again as we see because Puff Put out music, was well, in all the videos, really trying to be a star. Like, should I told you that? that. Right. <laughs> all, in, right. all in the video, you know what I mean? But we knew, but that's what I, I guess that's what I was trying to say. Even dating back to the 90s, that's what Puff was on. Puff was doing uh, dancing with what's all the you almost had to be right? Like, Biggie without that split star, it wasn't as much a split star. But it was part no, of I get you. I, get I mean, you. That, yeah. I mean that song is cool. But when he say your friend be with my friends, that's some shit. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he put himself out there. He, he he definitely put himself, kept himself in the mix. But but it's just I just think it's the, the different personalities and Dame is like. I mean, yeah. but like, again, like I think it's some some personality. But I think it's but behind all that is like when we really look at it is like we kind of hear the same things from their artists where money was funny. Where we weren't getting the shine we wanted to give, where you cool. from uh, from Rockefeller, Dame, Art, Rockefeller artists and Bad Boy artists. 
I mean, I think, but again, I think that's the that's ultimately the, all though. That's the song of any year. Because I, I don't know. Maybe because people just say I look like that. You know, I just wear my hat like that. I have the goatee. Really? So people just always call me this shit, right? And uh, it's a thing. It's a thing. Uh, I ain't saying I do. Don't get it fucked up. <laughs> and it come out right for radio. <laughs> I'm not claiming. Edit that, that out. I'm not like, claiming. Give a timestamp. Edit it. I'm saying that people used to always like to wear my hat. Like that. Come on with this lie. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> As my uh, uncle would say, come right, on with right, the lie. But uh, uh, but I was always. But it's a funny thing. I used to like try to play it down and act like I didn't hear it because I definitely did like the way Dame Dash moved. So I always kind of paid attention. Mm-hmm. Everybody has kind of recurrent canon and said they wish they went with Dame Dash when the split came. Mm-hmm. All of them have said that. Yeah, because they thought that they all were Jay-Z Wait, hold on. I'm trying to tie this into him looking like Dame Dash. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. I fucked up. I, yeah. fucked up. I was just trying to see. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm Get him out. Was it when you had a Davucci? Is that when you? Fuck the Vucci. I, I want to fight about the Vucci. It's like I didn't have the Vucci, nigga. <laughs> I'm sorry, the Abrax, the Pelly. Oh, that's the Pelly. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I well, mean, no, um, yeah, but people just playing whatever. That was goatee. It was just a go. Any nigga with a goatee and a hat bang to the side looked like yeah. Dash at that point. Like light skinned niggas were crazy, like ludicrous. Look like who? Ludicrous. Yeah. Who? Ludicrous. Let me ask you all a super random question because I was talking to people about this the other day. This has nothing to do with nothing we're talking about. I like random. Uh, you know how it's a given that Beyonce is like the baddest chick in the game? Okay. Is she really? Bad as hell. Because Body I'm just talking about just the baddest chick business. in the game. Kind of like how T.I. is the king of the south. I feel like it's one of them things where if somebody said enough, everybody just kind of believe it, and nobody ever tries to believe it. Beyonce is not well, like Beyonce. But well, no, but I mean, because I guess my thing about Beyonce is like, what I'm gonna start with looks because I don't know, I don't know a lot of dudes that are like super into Beyonce like that. I mean, not that she's unattractive, but I don't think Beyonce is that. Ooh, yeah, man, I be dreaming about Beyonce, you know, Bay or you know what I'm saying? Well, go back. Other than the Beehive, and please Beehive, I don't want no smoke. Let's, I'm let's, just, I'm just having a conversation. Let's, let's get this ten minutes. Yeah, I mean, no, this is, okay. I think it's an yeah. interesting combo. Let's go back to Destiny's Child. Oh, shoot. When she came out talking about no, no, no with that dress. Yeah, now Destiny's Child. <laughs> she wasn't the baddest thing right there. She was nice. <laughs> but I'm not going to lie to you. I was, I was into it. But wait, hold on. What are we basing uh, this on? Just her appearance? Or I mean, talking I think, about her business moves? I'm, anything, anything. I mean, because I don't think there's one, like, when, you, when a man, I don't think there's one thing that really attracts men. Like, we can start with looks. But I mean, I think it's. I mean, I think as far as like music and influence and all that, she's she she got that. But I guess it's kind of came to me because Beyonce really never moved me like that. Again, other than the Get Me Body video, it was never a time where I was like, oh shit, y'all. Yeah, I remember that time in life. Um, that don't know no time like shit. I would say, I mean, I'm not a man. I mean, I don't know a lot of guys that really is that into I bet you probably like the like what that. you talking about and then probably her first album, Dangerously in Love. I feel like she probably, like, was that girl. And single ladies, I feel like I was watching some uh, Single ladies. I was, oh, think I was married at that time. Or something. I turned the channel on that. I'm watching that shit and why can't I turn the channel, bro? No, I can't. <laughs> I'm talking about guilty watching that shit. Bro, we were, uh, I forgot what happened, but like me, and my pops, and my wife's brother, we were, it was like Thanksgiving and we was all in the crib chilling and somehow that came on. Like we were kind of talking mm-hmm. and like the room, we was all like, <laughs> yo, what the fuck? Like, who just, like, because it, 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 it was on like NBC or something. Like, it was on, yeah, I'm like, yeah. hey, what's going on here? Bro, like, don't get it twisted. It was like, like when we came in, I was like, hey, nah, we weren't watching this. We, we, you know what I'm saying? We was going to be straight to the game. That video like, had that all pills. That's, right? Yeah, the first time I saw that, like, that, matter of fact, the first time I saw that, I was, I was, my wife was in the crib. I was walking out the house, and I stopped. I'm like, it stopped me in my tracks. There had to be something to it for it not to be nothing overtly sexual in there. Yeah. But you still felt yeah. it off of that. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, but I think where she took it from. Yeah, when you when you go back and see the old ladies that they stole that, no, I didn't say stole, interpreted, interpolated. <laughs> the inspiration <laughs> for yeah. 
There was nothing sexy about what the ladies was doing. <laughs> I don't even know where she got it from. I never, so, you never saw the name of the old video? Yeah, I saw that. So, I don't know. I'm not going to go there right now. So you. are yeah, you me... saying she is not? I'm because asking... I really believe, like, if you want to talk about somebody, I'm just going to say a triple threat. She's not a triple threat in what it really means, but who else? Let's, no, hold on. No, I, I know where you're going. Let's just stick. Let's do the is she right now. We're, we, I was, I was, well, I was, I feel I was like gonna, debatable. I was, I, I, was gonna like, go, I was gonna go where you going. I know where you going. That's okay. gonna be my part too. Um, well, I feel like she's up there. Like she's top five. But I'm I feel like. Are you talking about just looks right now? Or are you talking about just well, like everything? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. I yeah. feel like you will have to put Rihanna up there. Okay. Okay. Even Nicki Minaj, get, 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 get but list. let's get a list. You now, know what I mean? I feel like because I feel like maybe I mean because I think Katy Perry. Would you put her in that? Uh, and the other girl, uh, Taylor Swift. Yeah, but physical. Uh, but I don't man. feel like think uh, it's, we have a titty man. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't think. <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> is that what tips you on Taylor Swift? But, no, but, Katie, man. But I feel <laughs> I'm sorry, like Katie. Katie's with Tim. Yeah, but yeah. I'm, on appearance wise, I don't think Taylor Swift. You know well, what I mean? I mean I'm, sure, I'm sure white dudes would disagree with you. They like them chicks built like six year olds. I mean. I feel, like dude, I feel like white dudes are pedophiles. But that's a whole other guy. That's a bold <laughs> What that time is this? Not make. <laughs> um, I mean, all men are pedophiles. Because I know, I, I remember a dude who said this all the time. I know he first got this from a movie, but he used to say, like, he liked chicks who had asses like a six year old boy. What's that? This, what? this chick I used to, yeah, exactly. The chick I, I used to work because they like the chicks with the little small ass. Yeah, the little girls are like, like a nephew and shit. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, but the thing is, you got to think about it is like they like super, like, they like childish looking girls that are real small with well, big, dumb, stupid titties on. You know what I'm saying? But let's That's just, the dream for yeah. a white girl. Look at what they used to. Um, recently, within the, probably the last 10, 15 years, is when white girls start getting booties and stuff. I don't think they like that shit. I think they just don't know about that. I mean, that's for us. Uh, I think that's just a. I don't know. But I'm saying that's the makeup of a white girl. We're different. I ain't gonna say species, but we just have different. No, but what I'm mm -hmm. saying is that's the makeup of a white girl. No ass. They get boo job. You know what I mean? So that's like. That's all they have to offer. Right. Uh, I don't know. We ain't different things. Well, now that we've slurred white people enough, yeah. How about we get back to Beyonce? You did that. I did it. I did it. I did it. I didn't realize y'all were co signing, bro. Y'all fucking racist. Like, <laughs> gotta make some content here. Exactly. Like, controversial, man. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we ain't like on the podcast to bring us back because y'all racist. But now, nah, uh, I think that uh, Beyonce, like, all we're all package, I don't think it's nobody who's touching that right now at this point. I feel like. That's why this whole thing that I'm going to segue into when we all done, back to my little point about Jay-Z and her and this whole uh, cheating thing. Yeah. I ain't buying it. First of all, I always thought before that even happened. Let's go Jay-Z even, yeah. I'm going to, let me get, I, 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 I feel like we're, I'm going to get back to that. Okay, kind of what you were saying then is like, and I guess because my question is, okay, if not Beyonce, then who? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's I feel what you're like, like Rihanna, right? Okay. Black women, mm -hmm. you know, because um, then it's almost kind of like, even though not, she's not still, like Cardi B. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just wanted that. I just wanted that, nah. that on wax. I just you wanted just that reaction on wax. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, um, for the record, I feel this leader is a hater. I literally I like, like if it's hater, not Beyonce, but I don't know no. a better word. And I feel like if it wasn't Beyonce, the only other two would be Rihanna, Rihanna or, or Nicki Minaj, and I'm gonna say Nicki Minaj. Ugh. I feel like Rihanna would be more fun than Nicki Minaj. Minaj like Rihanna, Rihanna is crazy. I got, I got Nicki Minaj's secret to come back. You want her what? I got her secret to come back. First of all, let's just talk about her. that little video that she was twerking in the pool. Did y'all see that? No. Nah. I don't watch videos, man. No, it wasn't a video. I saw it, it but like I didn't feel like clicking on it, but I see it was people's clowning, so I knew what they expect. It was some whack twerking. Even her performance on the BET Awards. Yeah. I heard that was whack, too. She's whack to me. Like, in terms of, you know, it's like, okay, so. But no, I, hold on. Hold on. Going. No, but let me just say this, though, because I feel like, you know, on a, the physical look, me and like, yeah. But then when you start to get sexual and think about it's like to me she just comes off as I got it but I'm a lazy fuck she like a lazy she like a lazy that is a you know what I mean that's what you that's that. you've never been with I think I told I you I came over that one uh, <laughs> no she, man, let me, I, 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 no cause we were talking 
talking that about. That was too spot on. No. But you not to know. I've always said this about her. We were talking about this. Either you've been with a woman or you're not a lazy fuck. I ain't never been with a never <laughs> been with a woman. It? But what I'm saying oh, is. Oh, so you're not a lazy fuck. I'll take her man. <laughs> exactly. Like, lazy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So, pop that thing. Like, I pop but when it comes thing. to, pop that thing. can I can I get back to my point? I think we have a better topic than oh, I want to talk about. <laughs> can talk right. about that thing is the question. She lazy. She lazy. Inquire minds want to know. She lazy. Not a topic. Proceed. Me and Quad can fall back. Go ahead. Describe. Who? You. She lazy. Are you like? Do you like do the Jamaican wine? She lazy. The wine. No, that's an accurate description, though. I think that. But the reason why some, like a woman like Nicki Minaj, I say, can be a lazy fuck, and it's whack. Because she has, oh my God, I'm fucking Nicki Minaj. But, Which but, wears off. Wait, but yeah. pause, but hold that thought like right there. Like so when it comes back to what you were saying, that's why it's like, I was like, mm, you know, with the whole Beyonce, Rihanna, and I was like, Nicki Minaj, eh. Because I feel like, thinking from a... I'm not a man, but if I was to think like a man, I feel like out of all three of them, I feel like Rihanna would probably be the choice because I feel like she's a fun girl. You know, no inhibition. Oh, so you mean like in bed? Yeah, like just, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. She's also some like crazy. The conversation is confusing me, though. The conversation ain't focused. I mean, well, we kind of we kind of go to all the fucking. But I like I like no. I like, I like this offshoot though. I'm, I'm no. feeling this. I'm gonna bring it back. But I'm, I'm saying right no. But what I'm saying is I'm what feeling I'm tired leading this right now. But, but go what, ahead. <laughs> but what I'm saying is to what men would be attracted to. Of course, outside of the ambition and all of that type of stuff, I'm saying on a physical level, not even just sexual, just imagining y'all fantasizing or whatever. I feel like if out of those three, who would yeah. it be? That's all I'm saying. Because Rihanna got them crazy ass. She seems like Beyonce is kind of like, like the good girl. Beyonce, it don't matter. They can Beyonce look like Gabby Sidney. Y'all still look like Gabby Sidney. I can't unsee those teeth. Y'all be telling me what you said. But you know what the thing about Beyonce? I feel like Beyonce is the chick that'll be like not great because she's one of my over enthusiastic that do too much. Her voice. She like, does too. You know what oh my god. I think I was, uh, Scott Townsend. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Townsend. <laughs> daughter. Hey, you know what? Let's bring it back in. Cause, but no, I feel you on Nikki because, like, just like when you see her twerk and it's just like. Even on the freaking BC. If what I had a Beyonce done? impression right now. <laughs> bro, stop. Nobody doesn't like Sky Townsend. That chick is. Yeah, listen to that while you have having sex. Uh, Listen to that. I'm, I'm not engaging. I'm engaging. <laughs> that would be I pretty. Not engaging. <laughs> this is not where I want this conversation to go. That would be pretty bad. Well, what was you expecting? I was not expecting her to be talking about Beyonce fuck up? face. Yeah. <laughs> like, is that gonna do? No, that uh, was Scarface. No, it was fuck face. Both. Was, it was Devin's song. I think both of them put both. on the album, but it was okay. Devin's song. But no, um, yeah, I think that uh, he's uh, 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 she's. Pretty much the it woman though. Uh, she is so she is the she is the best. She, she the queen of that thing. Yeah, um, I, think that, I mean, like Tina Turner was one day. I like well, that's what I was about to say. Turner's she's at her peak, but I feel like now right. somebody's gonna be taking the throne. Like Who? the next, per- I don't know. I'm just saying, like how Tina Turner, Janet Jackson. Okay, I think, I think they're doing things that I don't know if Riri is think. capable of this, but if Riri classed it up, she could be. She, but that's not her personality. But that's not, but that's that's not her. She would lose her. But no, okay. I want uh, you. Fuck. I lost it. You were saying something about oh, I'm how good. Nicki Minaj can get it back. Oh, mark that shit off. I I make up. Yeah, because you know what it is. That, that's adding so much to but her personality. But you know what though? You know, thing right you know that that's the, the crazy thing the about wing, the wing. I, she got to stop that. She I don't understand. That. What I don't understand about Nicki Minaj is that she's fake. What do you all mean? The, all the theatrics and all the other stuff. I feel like yeah. You, Who are you? You can rap though. Like, but see, but the what, and so I feel like all this like the side show is unnecessary because you actually can rap. The whole is unnecessary. The but side show. Off. But see what ha- I think what happened. Like, well, she she did was doing different voices and how old is she? Not even the no voices, she, but I don't, I don't think she's no thirty. Idea. I don't know. I don't think she could be forty five. Forty five plus. We think? No, she probably like twenty eight. Yeah, if she I, was, I would be surprised if she was thirty. I don't think she's thirty. Maybe like even his twenties. Well, we're gonna. But no, see. she's been out about ten years now, so she might be thir- like thirty. Thirty barely. Thirty two at the most. All right, let me look it up. And I think that's an over-exaggeration. I'm thinking like 35. No, nah, nah, she's not, nah, she not 35. Hell, Beyonce is what? 
35, 36, like, something like that. 35. Oh, she is 35. Nicki Minaj is 35? She'll be 35 in December. Really? Wow. Because she, cause she been doing this for a Maybe she was like on the mixtape, the video back in the day. The French I, never, was I never caught really? on to Nikki. Yeah, she, she was out there way back Until she got on, I really never. I mean, but. I still never. I guess the my point is still stands. Right. Like, as far as female rappers go, like, she's oh, probably the best. The reason, I went there. reason why I went there. About it. Well, I'm sorry. I feel like she's coming from performing. Mainstream. She came in with performing arts type of thing. I'm performing. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, the I'm, a, I'm a person. But I'm not selling my person. I'm selling She's my selling, performance, right. right? Whereas now everything that got reality, and Cardi B comes in with no performance. I'm just me. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, developing yeah, a performance yeah, yeah. not out of her. But but I feel like that's why I liked Rihanna is because even though she didn't come out immediately like it. that, yeah, like she cut it. Yeah, but it was she just like that I'm. Girl. This is me. Right. She did the Britney Spears and thing, but didn't go crazy. But she was kind of clean and wholesome, and then she turned to the. But I feel like that's just how they came. That was more so her. She is. Yeah, right. it works. But then I feel like it was a. It was real brief though, and that's why I struggled with the whole Beyonce thing. Now the evolution of her because it's like you. You was American's princess. You now know what I mean? Now, now, right. So that's why I struggled with that. I like that too much, but. But whatever. If she's older, it's like she at this point in her life, she can do whatever she wants to. But that's why, to me, I gravitate towards Rihanna because it's just like what you see is what you get. But I'm me, like, and, but you but, asked about me. And. But my thing, I mean, I really feel like because this is the thing. Like honestly, with the Carters, like I like that album a lot more than I really thought I would because this is probably the, this is the version of Beyonce that I like more than any other version. Of is Beyonce. it because because she's not the princess, like American's princess, or have uh, an image? You're not gonna do that, Justin. I don't know. It might be necessary. It was raining, so it might be like a breeze. Yeah, but I feel like you broke a little bit. Breeze. Come on, man. You just can't turn off the air. So turn it down. Why you got to spend money? First of all, my hair is going to get poofy. Number one. God, just, just, it's good for skin. It's not good for hair. It's not good content. <laughs> huh? It's not good content. It is not. This is not. This is not. Oh, ain't nobody. Oh, 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 that thing's supposed to behind you. What? And right that time, so I'll cut the shot. Bruh, because, yeah, we're going to take a break. You're not going to cut it out anyway. I am. It's not even recorded. I'm not even recording. It's not even recording. All right, so where we going next? Mm. I don't know why that topic hit me earlier, but I wanted to talk about that. So um, that's a good 15, 20 minutes. Damn, it's only an hour. Yeah, man, we need to stop doing these. Um, especially on a Tuesday. Two year ass. I ain't playing with you. I ain't playing with you. You know, late nights. That's why I make big provisions to get rid of her. Come on, Crystal Pollard. But to go out, I was going to say the whole thing about Jay Z and the cheat, which we can uh, take into people cheating too, I guess. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> we got a whole podcast for cheaters. Mm-hmm. Um. I don't believe that Jay-Z can cheat. What? I don't believe he can cheat. What does that mean? Yeah, my That's a lie. No, proceed. You have my attention. I'm going to be glad. <laughs> this is talk. some bullshit no, 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 no. right let's, here. Let's, let's, let's get a man a chance to see where you're going with this. Well, Jay-Z specifically, in 2018, what woman would he be cheating with? What? Any woman, the same woman who keep cheating no, with T.I. Keep going. I know he's. I guess he's saying that, like, because you would think that. But it's not cheating. Because Jay Z would cheat up. Jay Z is a very smart dude. Guy like that. Yeah, because yeah, it's gonna tell. Hold on a second. Let's. What is our definition of cheating? Sex with other women. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to be. And he cannot cheat thing. because of what? No, he can't. Is it that he won't? I don't think Jay Z will fuck down. What there's was your initial no statement? Benefit. There's nothing better than I, don't, I can't see Jay Z fucking no, 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 pause. You said he cannot cheat. He can't cheat. He, I, I, I thought this from the very beginning of this union that he can't go nowhere. She can't even go nowhere. If they get divorced, who's she gonna deal with? They said she was cheating with LeBron. I don't believe it. You believe that? I, didn't I just say I don't believe it? Yeah, but I'm, I'm sorry. I don't want to. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to like. No the Dame students and shit. No. I mean, yeah, that's the, I guess that's the only place she can go. Hold like, on, let's LeBron. say. I don't that's think she did it. I don't no, think no, she did. I'm saying, yeah, I'm no, I mean, let's, let's go back up to Jay Z because men do dumb shit all the time. 
No shade to y'all sitting at this table, but y'all right, do right. dumb shit all the time. But Jay-Z is not us. <laughs> and? Don't compare me to Jay-Z. Uh, <laughs> I feel miserable if you compare me to Jay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I, 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 can't, I see you. He's see a you. human, though. But also, you gotta think about like this. Well, he sees other women, but I don't but, understand what woman he could cheat with. What do you mean? I can write jokes like on the internet about it. Like it would have to be Michelle Obama. Yeah. It would. Hold on, though. But do we not know from the Colbys and everybody else who's cheated on their wives that they don't necessarily cheat up or but even laterally? So he's an idiot. Jay Z is. A, I mean, I think like Jay Z. So. Jay Z. I don't even like to use this word, but Jay Z's still a nigga. No, but he, nah, he is though. I mean, but then again, this. But this isn't new to him. He been Jay Z for twenty some years. So you so basically you putting him up there with God and that he doesn't get no 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 no. You I think you misread. I think you misreading us. I don't cheat. I'm way better than Jay. It's Justin. Yeah. Ladies, I'm being fucking. But let me tell you why though. Justin doesn't put himself in compromising situations. Yeah. You think Jay Z? Jay Z is always in compromising situations. I'm not saying that he always cheats, and I'm not saying that he did cheat. What do you mean compromise situations? He put himself in compromising situations. Hey, can we like, <laughs> <laughs> What you doing, right? What's happening right now? You know he's like, right? What's happening right now? This is your boy. This is your boy. <laughs> no, we good. But no, um, I, I'm feeling, I don't know. No, 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 I'm feeling, I'm, I'm feeling, I, <sighs> I'm sorry. Maybe it's a man thing, but I'm feeling. I'm, I, I, I see where you're going. I see where you're going. Though, I don't buy it though, because I, I really feel it. believe all men. Okay, so let's go down. You know what it is? We went up. We went up. What he could cheat up to? What could he cheat down to? That's not gonna tell the world. I mean, like you said, because even he said it. It's like, like Captain talking about, like, yeah, he was fucking free. He's like, I'm not saying anything wrong with free. I'm saying, like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with me? You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, some got wrong. I mean, he and I, I feel like Jay Z is. But y'all don't always. Y'all are not always logical. Yeah, but I think I don't. I don't see. I mean, I feel like a guy like Jay has had enough. You've been. You feel like he's different. Yeah, yeah. I feel like he's different. Yeah. I feel like him, Obama. They got a certain. And there's other guys out there. I don't. They're not on TV. I guess. I don't really put him in that boat. They're different. I they got Why a certain poise. They that got that a boat? certain. Uh, yeah, they got a certain thing that don't get them shook up. They Only time, that's really a video they. of uh, Jay Z and what's the rich man investor from Nebraska? Well, uh, Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett. They're talking to some white guy in an interview together, dressed up in suits. This is like circa Kingdom Come, Jay Z. I feel uh, only time I've ever seen Jay Z a little bit. Not in, out of each other. Yeah, like he's kinda, not in charge. Because yeah, he can kind of adapt to his surroundings. Yeah, and these are these he's, not, a, he's not a cheater because of that. I'm not saying he's not a cheater. I think he's a his penis you, never man. gets tired looking at it. No, I, think, I don't think you. I think I don't think like I don't. He would be logical enough to know that. Uh, no, I guess the thing is, I think what he's saying is he's not saying Jay Z wouldn't cheat. You know, he said he did not cheat. No, what he's saying is Jay Z wouldn't fuck anybody. Mm-hmm. Right, but there's somebody out here that he would. And I, and I would go okay. backwards to Ooh. say that. The question is, I don't know. No, but, but I guess that's what kind of what we're going for. So who, you were saying, not saying who she is. What woman is not going to tell? This is not a background dancer. Well, it could be somebody. Okay, we can say Rihanna. Rihanna wouldn't tell. And it's been speculation that they messed around. That would kind of be like, I think that Why would, would be like tell? the one. It would anybody be like in that Rihanna, Janet Jackson, okay, Holly Berry. Anybody in that if J- element. If Jay-Z gets caught cheating publicly with Rihanna. They're not going to get caught publicly. I'm just saying if he did, what would okay. be the consequence? What do you mean? Aside from the marriage. Aside from him publicly, losing out his wife? What, what, publicly, what would, be the, what would be the perception? Well, we already know that when a man gets Jay-Z caught, there's up. no... Yeah, but when a man gets caught he up... Step down. Step down from what? He lost... Hold on. When a man gets caught cheating, other than losing his wife, what other? Well, sometimes say say uh, say, my, say my man. Uh, but I'm saying it's, no. Prison but what I'm saying. Prison bay. Hold on one second. Outside of the family aspect. Don't talk about that. What else are there? That. What else, what else will they lose? We know. We can just look at historically if we want to take it there. You don't normally you don't normally get the judgment of the society. Though. But what I'm saying is they're judged for ex- however little, however long, then it gets swept under the rug, and it's just like whatever. Like they never really lose out. Kevin Hart. 
He benefits from it. That's what I'm saying. Can I lie? No. No, I'm saying that I'm not bringing him into it. But that's what I'm saying for like a world. moment. That's what I'm saying for a moment. Okay, he ain't shit. Blah blah blah. Why would he do that? His life crazy. Blah blah blah. And then a new okay, cycle and then changes. in seven the or fourteen days, changes. exactly. And then nobody cares. Anymore. And then he uses that because of the marketing campaign and that J. he Cole has. Makes a song. Exactly. So it's. So again, what I'm saying. I don't know that about Kevin Hart. Just somebody told me that. You're slow. I am. Even after the video, I didn't. Look. Yeah. Y'all but. slow. Um. Go to prison bay though. I think mm. I don't think Ty, I don't think Ty gonna get it. Prison bay. I'm not a man. I don't think like that. So he, no. he, 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 you know who he is, right? Who prison bay? Yeah. Yeah. So he slept with a who was the lady? She's a uh, uh, heiress of so some type of big company. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he then he moves on. He leaves his wife. Yeah. And moves over there. Um, do you feel like he made a mistake in life? Because he slept with her, or because he left because, her? Because he left his wife and fucked up. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. No, even better than that. Well, it happens all the time with celebrities, ball players. If actors, you're his wife, they always fuck up and leave. The- like, cause he ended up getting custody of his son, right? I don't know, but anyway, cause they have a kid together, mm-hmm. and they, there was a custody battle. But I feel like if you're his wife, you have to give up custody because if if if, you're, if, if your kid moves in with him and an heiress, his whole his life trajectory changes. I don't care where you at. I don't care how much child support he's paying you. You can't give him what that environment can give him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I feel like you got to give up your kid at that point. If you love that child, you well, have to give him up at that not point. not necessarily because a mother's love does not equate to having nannies and all of this other stuff. No, but you... The, 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 the because they can... His, man, social so, and, but you got to think like this, though. You, like, but they can... She, why if not you have give him up, If you give him up... His great grandkids are straight. Oh, I don't believe. I, I'm sorry. I look at a woman who ever gives up custody of her kid. I look at it like she's. So what? even in that situation. Yes. If you give him up to a to a, a, a yes. situation where he gets to live in a billion, he gets yes. to live a billionaire's life. Yes. You say? Can she, the, nah. the kid can still have the best of both worlds. I think it's the difference between women and men, though. I'm never gonna ever give up my kid. I'm sorry. That we can make more. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's my thing. Because I'm like, because it's funny because me and the wife got into an argument because she's kind of saying the same thing. I'm like, nah, fuck that. I'm like, not the, if I was there, I'd be like, no, get that little dude. Like, because I feel like if you want to do, if your goal is to do what the best you can for that kid, the best you can is to let that kid grow up in money. That is not true. That is absolutely 100% no, it's true. Right. That's the only thing that no, matters. No, just because world you can provide. Money. No, I totally disagree. Just because you can provide certain a lifestyle, a certain lifestyle, a certain I'm lifestyle. Like you Whatever you're about to say, you're like. I don't. I don't care what you say. I totally disagree. Go so ahead, money. And at the end of the day, a lot of those kids not even raised by their parents. They're raised by nannies. It don't matter it's where the, what they're raised in. I don't though. care. I don't. I disagree. Go ahead, cook your point. I'm I don't even sorry. have to. I disagree. I was watching Atlanta last night because uh, I haven't been watched the second season really, so I've been piecing it out. And I, whatever this episode that was, the teacher told them the act was a cheaper version, basically for getting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Being yeah. a what? When him and his, when him and uh, old girl went to, see I haven't. I only watched like two episodes of the so I don't know what y'all talking about. But so what? He was gonna explain it. When he was ready, <laughs> he was about to explain it. <laughs> no, but I didn't hear what you said to know what he was about. I didn't hear what you said to know what he was about to explain. <laughs> no, it's about the Atlanta show about. It was based. I didn't even explain it yet. <laughs> but what? I didn't hear what you said to no, he, even uh, know what he was about to explain. Again, I guess. He, I felt I stopped because I think he could explain it better than me because I kind of caught it at the, minute, at the last minute. But basically, they were trying to, they were at school, and this became a segment that me wasn't supposed to. Uh, he yeah, came yeah, to, uh, to the school for his child, and the teacher told that they were trying to like push the school kid out of school. That's what was like clear on. Push the kid out of school because the teacher felt like the kid could do better in a different school. Is that what happened? Yeah, the, they, the teacher was saying like your kid is really smart. She's right. gifted. And like you need to put her in, in a private school because this school sucks. Right? So why do I need to give a guardianship for my kids to go to different school? Too close. That's not kind of too close. You, yeah, like I'm saying I'm. Well, the parallel he was trying to make is like they were. <laughs> no, I get what you're saying, but I don't understand why I need to give a guardianship for my kids to experience a different side of life. Are you, are you, can you provide that for the kid? 
does not matter. Monetarily, you're saying because I can provide a certain lifestyle, my kid is going to be better off. And I think it's bullshit. Mm. I'm sorry. So what you're saying is that... I'm saying I, as a mother, mm-hmm. I should not have to give up my guardianship, my parental rights for my child to go live over here for them to live a better life. Yeah, they may live a better life, we but... We enter the new territory. Huh? Right? We enter the new territory. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, just because I can provide you these things monetarily, I can a, a different networking does not mean that I'm, you're a better... You're, you're going to be a better person. It... It increases your chances of not necessarily a lot of no, people be no, on drugs that, and other no. stuff too. If you look at the numbers, it's I mean again, rich kids live better lives than poor kids. But what I'm saying, rich but, kids live better lives. So than what do we care kids. about though? What do we do? We care about the character, the morals, the values of a child, or are we just thinking about? But I mean, I think the thing is, it's like you're. But I think you're also you're you're kind of making the the assumption that because. They're rich. They're not going to get those things, those morals, the characters, and all that. But I what think you're, you're making saying, an assumption. It's like I'm making an assumption, but, but my assumption is backed up by like data. And I want to see it, Nick. Whoa! <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Let me see it because what I know and what I see. How, do you live in America? I live here. So. <laughs> I'm I'm not saying that they do not provide a better lifestyle, but I'm saying for you to say, if I, what's his name? Bay, whatever. Prison Bay. Prison Bay. Okay, just because I can't provide this certain lifestyle doesn't mean that they're going to have, they're going to be better. Yes, they can provide different opportunities, a networking, all this. Well, okay, better opportunities. There's definitely going to be a different type of networking experience for that kid. But again, what about the other things? What other things? Why mean? can't they live have the best of both worlds? What do you mean? What is the best Why of both does world? one parent have to give up parental rights for this Are other child? But I want to make sure this. Are you concerned with the mother giving up? Or the it's father? everything. Because fathers give it up all the time, right? Yeah. It's everything. It's I don't believe. Starts off with them I don't believe. A, did yeah. you hear what I said? I don't believe a parent should give up parental rights. Period. And I definitely think a woman should what never... What do you mean parental rights? What do you mean by parental rights? Guardianship. I'm just a guardianship. So... Mm-hmm. It's a residence. You're saying that no matter what, no matter what the situation, no I'm matter the disparity... It. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, saying just because someone has more money, mm-hmm. the other parent should not give up custody just because this other parent has money and you believe that they can provide a better life they can provide a better lifestyle but that's it that's the only thing that it guarantees is a better lifestyle but if you, you start off with, you know what i think i think it's just you the month she started off real, quick, real quick real quick you 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 kind of poo-pooed better lifestyle like that's just what no, but I'm. But it's that's the things. like that's the whole point. But it's other that's the things. whole point of parenting. That's no, the, it's any not. parent says no, it, I want not. my child to be better than I am. Like but so you what? also want to instill with them certain morals, certain values, and so you're basically saying just because this person has millions of dollars, they can provide that, and I totally disagree. No, no, no. I'm not saying they can I'll, provide the more. I'm not saying they can provide more, better morals and better. I mean, I think that any parent can provide morals and all the other stuff you're saying, as far as like the inside bit of the kid to be a good person. What I'm saying is. The more money you have, the more money you ha- you can build up a person to be a more successful person. You so, build- I mean, I'm kind of. So I think there's a baseline. I think there's a baseline where, like, if you're an involved parent, there's a baseline character building that you're gonna do. But that's not what you said. You said because this person has millions of dollars, they basically should have guardianship of their kid. Yeah, Mendez brothers, they're killers. They can't have parents. I'm sorry, see. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Warren Buffett. Uh, but what I'm any other rich person than the Trump brothers. Yeah, like, let me really bring the listeners back in because I think we might lost them. Uh, for the listeners, uh, we're still dealing with uh, Dame Dash and Jay Z, the, the, the morals of somebody with money, no, and how they get about theirs. Prison Bay. <laughs> it's yeah, the same subject. It's the no, same subject. Okay, we're but talking but about really, we're talking about Dame Dash. Okay, right. So right now, Boogie morals, is this, okay. So Boogie is real. dealing with uh, drugs and, addiction. And who? Boogie, his son. Because what he's saying, he was because he's trying that's to tie a parallel. back. That's a parallel. That's the, exactly. Boogie, his son, because you're saying because I, 
Boogie. I watch it. Who the fuck is Boogie? His son. Daddy. Who the fuck is his son? Daddy. Bro, <laughs> stop you. Stop putting a fucking pronoun in there. Give me some names. Daddy. 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 If you're raised by rich people, you're not going to get... And you're making the assumption if you're raised by rich people, you're going to be... And the reason why I am more successful is because... We because you're going to get more opportunity. Money That's statistically everything. proven. But, but, that, but so you can be... Money over morals. Effed up morally. I'm not saying money over morals. I'm like I'm saying this. But like, you're saying... But that's what, to me, that's what you're saying. If you're not saying, what I'm if you're saying. giving custody over to this because he has millions of dollars, billions... He's better off over here. Nine times out of kids, those people don't even raise their kids. They got nine nannies. That's not nine times out of ten. That's not a fact. That is a fact. I bet you it is. Um, I can guarantee. Okay, well, as a mother, I disagree, and we can agree. Oh, what the fuck is that? Mother, I can do it. Because I feel like any mother who gives a hey, started there. You started there. I did, and I believe the any maternal thing. Hold yeah. on, that mother yeah. should have. Yeah. Mother yeah. should never give up their kids. But again, unless no matter you what. are unfit now, to mind you, know, unless you're unfit to parent. If you don't have enough money, that, and he got away, you're unfit. Right right. I can make sixty-five thousand dollars. And they have sixty-five Hold million dollars. <laughs> Hold on, I'm saying you can't raise them on forty. <laughs> I just, I bet you. I mean, so that proves that poor people don't have morals either. Because I'm broke and I have to be fucking morals. Because I'm that that late ass joke for no reason. <laughs> I, but, Ty, I think this is the thing. It's like, what I'm saying is this. It's like, the better financial situation you're in, the more you can guarantee, the more you can guarantee your kid is going to be in a better financial situation. I agree. That's just a given. I agree that they can okay, provide now, a better. Okay. Life. Okay. Now let me finish the second part of my point. Okay. I no, think, but I'm saying I'm, I'm walking this. So I we agree, so we agree that. that. We agree, I agree that. With that. I think the point where we disagree is that you're saying that the more money you have, the less moral education that you get. The less love that you get. No, that's the, not even what my argument is. What is your my argument? My argument is why should one parent have to give up guardianship to another parent just because they make more money than them? That's where I disagree. Well, well first of all, I'll say, let me, let me clarify. Because that's where you started with that's the reason that, That's not a law or anything. Duh. That's just opinion. But that's what I'm saying. So that's where we disagree. Okay. I don't believe that. Because the kid can still go. That we agree with. Hold on. Because the the same kid can go to a better school that the other parent is providing, and they don't have to necessarily live with that parent 100 percent of the time, or you know, the majority of the time. They don't have to necessarily be the custodial parent. It's how much of this is personal? None of it. No. As a parent, it is personal. As a mother. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's how much reflects your actual life. What do you mean? How much your opinion? opinion? Well, opinion okay, well, I'm going to say this. I feel like my child's father probably is in a better financial situation than I am. There's a two-parent household, mm-hmm. whereas I have one salary. However, I put my child through private school. You know what I mean? You're saying that he would. That's why I asked that question. That, that, that reminded I guess that's a good question. You cannot, like, if, if I'm going too far, what? say something. Why didn't he, like, why didn't he end up, because most... Boys end up living with their father. Why would he? Okay. So I'm sorry. Was it? Was no, that, I'm just saying. Was that ever a conversation or? Did no, that... but my but my kid's father has always been active in his life. Like you know what I mean. He went over there every weekend during the week. He got him. You know what I mean. So there was always a balance. Did he ever try to get him? He tried to get him at 13. Like he tried to do the joint custody thing, but at that point, well. It was. I feel like it was out of spite. Like I feel like it came from his wife. Like he had gotten married and all that. So Is I that feel right? like it came out of nowhere type of thing. Like there were no benefits for the reasons that I was given. There was no benefits to him. Maybe I mean trying it just to happened. It meant a man having his son in his household. Did you hear what I said? For the reasons that he gave to me. 
there was no benefit for why he was pursuing joint custody at the age of 13. What, what, what kind of reasons? Primarily, it was because of splitting the time. You know, I guess it kind of got in the way of the things that they were doing. So he would no longer split the time. Either way, the time split it. Well, because wanted, after they that, wanted, it, they wanted to have him during the week so they could have, have no, have it wasn't him during even the weekend that. So they can go do their thing or whatever. Oh. The well, I feel like he got in the way of their um, just the activities and things that they were doing. Yeah, because then after that, it went to every other weekend for thirteen years. My kid went to his father's house every weekend, then it went to every other weekend. I mean, you actually, that. that was after you said after he said I want him during the week and you have him on the weekend. This, you said no, and then so I never there. said no. I was served. Pa- well, look, serve papers for joint. You know we on wax. So you go okay. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Joint custody. Yeah, right there. I felt like it was too much. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I was like, right there. Okay, okay. Like, all right. And that's your guy. I'm like, hey, just so we clear. Like, go ahead. I mean, go, we yeah. here. Cook, cook, cook. It was joint custody. Mm-hmm. I, I was served paper. Well, I'm not gonna say joint I was custody served. was Hold you on. on a week. You're during the week. Him on the weekends. It wasn't even uh, it wasn't even a schedule or anything. It was just like I am pursuing joint custody for this kid. At well, this no, but I'm asking is okay before joint custody. What was the? He was there every weekend and during and like he would get he would pick him up from school on Wednesdays. He would they would go out to dinner. Oh, so y'all split the week in half. For the most part. I mean, we just did what we did. You know what I mean? This is just what he came up with. And then he would go every weekend. So it was like he would pick him up on Friday. Now, every weekend he didn't spend a night, but he went over there. I mean, he wouldn't spend a whole weekend, but he would go over there every weekend up until he was 13. Okay. Okay. Because you said Wednesday. Right. He would get him on Wednesday. Like he would pick him up like from school on Wednesday. They would go do whatever they did and he would bring him back home. Oh, then okay. He would go, right. I thought you were talking about he got him on Wednesday and then had him the rest no. of the week. How did he affect this situation okay. at all? Not at all. Because... Money not even the decision making in enemies. No. Because I paid for tuition. My son has been to did in private... Did This Because I have a tuition in private school situation myself and my kid. Who decided that he's going to private school? Well, I brought it to him. And he said, he's not necessary... It was just because uh, really, school, but whatever. well, whatever. But I'm saying my kid was in private school all his whole life except for two years. Uh, there's some child support issues in this you haven't talked about. What do you mean? There's some we have there's some child there's some when we're switching kids from place to place, child support comes into play too. So what are we saying about child support? I'm not giving her mama nothing else. Well, there was a child support. <laughs> <laughs> Four more years of this. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing, I feel like I'm getting <laughs> so But even then, like <laughs> whatever was given to me was given to me. So anything extra? We all weren't on paper at the time. No, we we were on paper. Yeah, we talked about that. Right, we talked about that. But right. what I'm saying is right, Hi mom. <laughs> <laughs> But what I'm saying hey. is, everything extra came on, like everything outside of whatever was given. I did everything. Let me ask you a question. And never asked for it. And I don't, uh, I don't mean to interrupt because I don't know. I've heard that some woman has said before, child support don't pay for everything. A man should contribute more than the state obliges him to contribute. Well, this is my thing. First of all, I don't even believe that a man should be, quote-unquote, forced to pay to take care of his child. Number one. What does that mean? I feel like I should not have to take you. For the record, I never took him to court. But I feel like a mother should Hi, not... Hey, auntie. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a man should not have to be taken to court in order to no, take care of his absolutely, kids. absolutely. I don't so think that's what that means. I don't think any... Because a mother does not have the luxury... That. Well, I'm going to say this. Uh, a mother who actually takes care of her kid does not have the luxury of not... Of waiting until... Exactly. You have you feel like giving the money. Comcast exactly. don't wait until you feel like giving Well, Comcast it. is absolutely. a luxury. But I mean, but hell, the rent don't wait until whatever, you feel like exactly. giving Absolutely. absolutely. Clothes, food, yeah, all of absolutely. that. You have to do what you have to do. Mm-hmm. Um, 
So I just I just don't believe that. You know what I mean? I don't believe that a man should have to be taken to court to take care of his kid. You know what I mean? So get back to my statement. What was it? I was her. I told. I've been told from women before oh, that extra. child support don't pay everything that a man is supposed to pay. A man should pay above and beyond what the state recommends. What the state mandates. I feel like pays. get them hit you with a personal. Note. I don't necessarily think that's a fair statement, okay. but yeah. at the end of the day, I feel like it depends on the man. Now and the woman. For me, I've always he had a good job, so I whatever I got from him, I never asked him for extra. And in, the, in addition to that, it's like did he ever give extra? <laughs> Now maybe, like I feel like now he may do some things, but no, he never. So like Christmas, school, like every now and then, I'm not trying to like shade him or whatever, but every now and then he would say his name. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> every now, like every now and then, he like take him, you know, go buy some school supplies or whatever. But coming to extra in terms of buying the coat, boots, and all of that, and no, y'all are immature. <laughs> that was childish. Okay. It was. I was very immature. Say, well, he said he said it in a way like it could have got you. Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't. I feel like you was kind of a first command. Dante, Earl, Robinson, you motherfucker, you. You yeah. wanted that damn Power Ranger, you ain't getting. Y'all yeah, know I'm far too private to uh, give names. Yeah. Well, I'm not private. I'm not private, so I'm, I'm gonna get some counseling out of this. Uh-oh. That's what this whole purpose of this shit is, anyway. Okay. Right? Ain't it? I'm here for you. Uh, hey, my kid about to be off to college. So I want advice. So, child support about up, ain't it? 18? 18? Unless oh. I was spiteful and took them to get extra. Yeah. But I'm not gonna do that. Uh, that's my biggest fear. Cause my daughter is like, we'll be 18 in two months. And like, what if she try to hit me for back? Cause I never paid child support. And like, that'd be low down. Scarface went to jail. Yeah, I know. I Scarface know. was a it's a like, like Scarface I was, was like a learning tool for a lot of me. Just like, know, like, well, that was stupid though. And I, and I because I probably, he didn't have records. I probably shouldn't say who this. Who keeps records? I don't like, know how many times I've said this before. I know men who no. have records because their mothers told them. Certain bank. I mean, this is the thing. It's like I feel like it's stupid to not have records. I don't know Scarface's full situation, but if you never paid, you don't have records. I mean, again, my daughter. Yeah, but his, his mind. My daughter the house lived, is the fucking record. My daughter lived with the me. The other house was a record. <laughs> I mean, my daughter lived with me for two and a half years, and I don't have I don't have anything from when she. But lived. she lived for you for two years, and so, you have proof that she lived with you for two years. What proof do I have? That she lived with record school records. Then y'all she lived okay, with y'all. Okay, yeah, she knows. So, but that's what I'm saying. Well, but, he, goes with that right now. but what I'm saying yeah, is, you okay, have to go to court. Yeah, yeah. Like your honor, I school. Yeah, okay. So yeah. Y'all so now I only have to pay sixteen and a half years. <laughs> I, think, I'm, I think I'm. I, I really, really, really believe I'm going to fall victim to that because I got a baby mama who's struggling with her sexuality uh, that I had a kid with, with the... nothing. Um, <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> no, got me. Forgot no, me. <laughs> but no. So the ugly truth, no, is that Kwaku <laughs> Petty is fuck, and, yeah. and the pretty lie is that Kwaku Petty is. Fuck! <laughs> 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 Look, man.